adrenal cell carcinoma or kidney cancer is on the rise with an estimated 4,600 new cases reported in Canada in 2009. For those in an advanced stage of the disease, patients had little hope once initial treatment options failed. But now an important breakthrough with Health Canada's approval of Affinitor. Dr. Sebastian Ott is a medical oncologist with the Juravinsky Cancer Centre and contributing investigator of the Record One trial, the basis for Health Canada's approval of Affinitor. The clinical trial that compared Affinitor Averolimus to placebo uh, showed a number of things. Firstly, uh, the, there 25 percent of patients who were on Affinitor were free of progression at 10 months uh, into their treatment. As well, the improvement in the time that it takes for patients to get worse was two-thirds. In cancer cells, Affinidor continuously targets mTOR, a protein that acts as a central regulator of tumor cell division, blood vessel growth, and cell metabolism. Unfortunately, 40% of patients are diagnosed with advanced disease at the time of their diagnosis, and a significant amount of patients develop advanced disease later on. Everolimus or Affinitor should be considered after uh, first-line treatments for these patients, and uh, this has been shown in the, the most recent uh, clinical trial. Deborah Maskins is the Vice Chair of Kidney Cancer Canada. There have been some tremendous developments in the treatment of kidney cancer in the last five years and these new targeted treatments are really helping us manage a disease that's been traditionally very hard to treat. For patients with advanced kidney cancer, Affinitor brings them tremendous hope that they will have access to a treatment option after their first line of therapy fails. What patients really need right now is access to therapies in a sequential order so that they can continue to ma maintain a good quality of life. For more information about treatment options for kidney cancer, speak with your doctor. To learn more about kidney cancer, please visit kidneycancercanada.ca. Sherry Demetarko reporting.